Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of Paranormal News. Today's article comes from BeforeIt'sNews.com, and the headline is DOD Admits Directed Energy Weapons Are in Use, Eludes to War. It's published Thursday, September 17th, 2020. The Department of Defense has admitted that directed energy weapons are in use. Defense Secretary Dr. Mark T. Esper said at the Air Force Association's Virtual Air, Space, and Cyber Conference that America's air, space, and cyber warriors, quote, will be at the forefront of tomorrow's high-end fight, end quote. Tomorrow's high-end fight. Is there a war coming we don't know about? But that's not the only thing he admitted. The Pentagon is going to ramp up their efforts to use whatever means necessary as weapons, using the largest defense budget in history to do it. The military stood up U.S. Space Command a year ago, and Congress created the U.S. Space Force. The command is charged with operations, and the USSF looks to man, train, and equip the force. The new service has already submitted a budget and has released its first doctrine, Space Power, Defense.gov. He also blames the use of directed energy weapons, DEWs, on Russia and China. Esper says China and Russia have placed weapons on satellites and are developing directed energy weapons to exploit U.S. systems and chip away at our military advantage, he said. In this era of great power competition, we cannot take for granted the United States' long-held advantages, Esper said. The last time an enemy force dropped a bomb on American troops was in the Korean War according to Defense.gov. China and Russia seek to erode our long-standing dominance in air power through long-range fires, anti-access area denial systems, and other asymmetric capabilities designed to counter our strengths, he said. Meanwhile, in space, Moscow and Beijing have turned a once peaceful arena into a warfighting domain. A directed energy weapon was caught on a live stream a few days ago, starting and even making those fires worse. After being caught on a United States Live website, the energy beam was censored. Why would the U.S. censor that if Russia or China had been guilty? Take the time to listen to Esper if you can. He's basically outlining a future dystopia filled with war and death on a massive scale, using whatever technology they want, no matter how unconventional. These are interesting times, folks. Pay attention and stay alert. This could be some kind of a PSYOP disused as an announcement, or it could be something much worse. It's hard to say right now, but this video is an admission by the U.S. government that this kind of technology exists. And that is the end of this article. So this is another one of those articles that provides evidence and proof of something that we said on a past show. Now, I have talked about direct energy weapons on several different shows. Most recently, I talked about them being used to heat up the atmosphere and to start fires and all those kind of things. In this article, they talk about just that, that not only were they used to start fires, but they actually made the fires worse in places where the fires already existed. So here we have the Department of Defense for the United States of America admitting that direct energy weapons exist and that they are being used. The line before always was, it was a conspiracy theory. There's no such thing as direct energy weapons. The idea that these things could be used to selectively target individual homes or areas and set them on fire was ludicrous. And anybody that said that was out of their mind. That was what we were told. But here you see You've been lied to again. The Department of Defense is admitting that directed energy weapons not only exist, but they are being used by Russia, by China, and even by us. Now, I went through a bunch of different scenarios and a bunch of different uses for these weapons on those past shows. I'm not going to go through all of it again because it'll take too long, and that's not what this is for. If you want to hear the episodes where I did talk about the directed energy weapons, they're on the YouTube channel. They're different episodes of Staring into the Abyss. And on those shows, I go way into detail on things because it's an hour-long show. 
This is not an hour long. This is a couple minutes or whatever. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this episode of Paranormal News. And this is like the fourth or the fifth episode of Paranormal News that I've done recently that have proven some of the outlandish things that I've been saying on the Staring to the Abyss show. Now, because I know a lot of people think that I'm kind of nuts and think that I'm a conspiracy theorist and that I'm full of crap. But right here you see yet another one of the things that I was talking about that everybody said I was nuts for is true. It's right here in black and white. You have the Defense Secretary Mark Esper admitting that these things exist. So as I said, I hope that you enjoyed this episode. And let me know down in the comments what you guys think. Uh, do you agree that these things are being used to start fires and for other nefarious purposes? We really do have way more advanced technology than what people think we have. I've mentioned before where when something comes out as brand new from the military or the government, you can be rest assured that that technology has been in existence for at least 20 years, where they've already tested it, developed it, and been using it for decades before we ever find out it even exists. So the cutting edge technology that we see coming out today and we're like, oh, wow, that's amazing. Wow, it's like Star Trek. They've had that for years and years and years. The stuff that they're coming out with now is so much more advanced that you couldn't even imagine some of it. It's so crazy. So as I said, let me know down in the comments what you guys think of the article, what you guys think of directed energy weapons. Do you believe that these things are being used to start fires? I mean, because essentially all a heater does is take electricity, energy from the wall and put it out into the room, essentially. You have little heater cores, it'll, it'll heat it up and then it'll turn that energy into heat and project it out into the room either by a fan or by radiant heat, whatever. But what is heating up that room is the energy that you're getting from the wall. So what a direct energy weapon is doing is literally just focusing a beam of raw energy into a spot and that is going to heat that spot up, just like a heater heats a room up. So there's nothing really outlandish or, or hard to believe about it when you really think about it. So anyway, let me know. I'm kind of rambling on now. I'm going to stop because I know that pisses some people off. Let me know what you think down in the comments. I appreciate you watching. And just thank you guys. And I love you. Until I speak to you again, love many, trust few, and do harm to none. God loves you. And so do I. Bye-bye.